Oh my, well, is it hug hug time? And I didn't get the memo? <laughs> Scud's got his first sunburn of the year. <laughs> this is what happens when you take your suit off and then mama goes to the hospital and you're outside on your own. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Hey. Oh, the hugs. Oh, my goodness. Such love. <laughs> Are you a happy boy? Yes, you is a happy boy. Betsy's a happy girl. Yes, you are. Scud, you and your truckers tan. Eventually, he will tan out. It's very artificial to me. Hello, Grandma DC here, still here, and uh, Mom and I are going to take the eggs to the egg hatcher guy today, and hopefully we're going to be able to find him. And I'm going to take about five, uh, three of the eggs from Friendly, who is an Americana, and they're the green eggs, and we're going to see if he can hatch those and a couple of white eggs that BC, I think, fathered, and... Um, because we might need some little training chicks for these turkey poults if they hatch. I hear turkey poults are not real smart. And the eggs for my long crowers have never come. I think they're lost in the mail. Oh, so disappointing. I would love to have hatched all these together. So, okay. Let's go get mom and let's go. Hope I can find this guy. I've only got an address and he lives about an hour away. Off we go. There's my little eggs. They're not super clean. We've had a lot of mud around here, but I think they'll, they'll be okay. I didn't unwrap the rest of those. Be 13 of them. Because they're going to be traveling again. Oh, what a beautiful day. I, you know, I sometimes say fall is my favorite time of year, but honestly, spring has it. Look at the red buds. <sighs> my neighbor's red buds are so beautiful. I planted mine years ago, and it's still struggles and is scraggly never puts on a lot of blooms <laughs> it's the difference between my yard neighbor's yard <laughs> all right guys well let's get this show on the road there we go oh my gosh look at this beautiful tree in the park oh my goodness it is just covered in blooms Oh my heavens, they are so thick and pretty. Oh my goodness, beautiful. I love spring. Okay, we gotta put the address in for this place. Um, uh, we don't know how long it's gonna take us to get there. He said 10, 10 ish, we're good. Um, 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 okay, I've gotta go to Messenger. I've got to get. Uh, See, Jennifer sent me that picture. I've got to get the address. I've got to have you memorize the address with me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to get here. I just okay. have to It is 12453. Okay. Number 12453. Okay. Now let's go back to get our maps. Maps. Okay. And then we're going to, I guess, search. One, two, four. See what she says. Well, I guess go six to five winds or drone someone. And she's not gonna talk to me. She never talks to me. <sighs> I wish she would talk. Is there so many? But it says, um, what way is she wanting to take us? Well, There's was... 65. Well, she wants us to go up six to five winds or junction, I guess. And yeah, that's one way to go. I wish I could make it smaller so I could actually see the whole thing. Is that what Windsor Junction and over here? Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully she'll start talking. And and then return to the right off of that uh, Windsor Junction Road, which is 50, what, 54? I have no idea. 54, I think. <laughs> we may never find the place. She won't talk to me. So we're lost. Google has lost us, as usual. We followed the blue line to some lady's house uh, with the address we put in, and that's not even anywhere near. So we're sitting on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, guys. And I mean nowhere. And small back roads, um, lost, 
I have uh, re-put in the directions again okay. and now we have a new blue line to follow. My phone will not talk to me. It won't give me left and right. And so it is saying we're going to go back into a different spot now. It's decided to take me somewhere else. What does that say? Goodbye. Binder Road? Bender? We should cross Bender Road, I guess. Yeah. White Earth. Huh? You can make it bigger. Oh, Road. Yeah. Dumbest damn, I hate Google. This always happens. And the guy didn't give me any road marks, landmarks, nothing. So I'm on my own with this stupid machine. Anyone else hate the directions she gives you? I do. Well, I tell you, if we get a signal for the phone, because there's no signals out here, we can try to call him and go, dude, serious, give me something. Anything. Look at that. Well, I hope you all enjoy this beautiful spring day. It's a lovely day to be out lost in the country. And uh, at least there's that. Okay, we're coming back up on this weird junction thing that no one told me about. 52 goes straight. Green Ridge, four miles left. Is this a left? Is this one? Because see, I told you it says that's B. So this is it, the left? Yes, go left. Weird left, but uh, okay. As far as this goes, it's no so good at all. No good at all. It doesn't show anything. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the way back. I think it had us on that current road. Back there. Okay, well. We're going to look for you. What are we looking for now? Hickory Point Road. Hickory Point Road. Most of these aren't marked, so. We should cross over a binder road. Wanker? Binder, B I N D E R. I can't even talk. Wanker Road sounds better to me. Okay, here we go. Can't believe there's any traffic out here. Cool. Hey, they were digging a water well. They've hit water. Yay, look at that. Cool. Well, we have found civilization. This is Green Ridge, Missouri, which is where the Googler brought us to, and yet we cannot find Hickory Point Road. And I found a Casey's. This is the closest thing to civilization we have. Oh yeah, here's their park. Lovely spring day, beautiful park. Look at that, isn't that the sweetest? This is Hometown USA at its finest. But we can't find the egg hatcher guy. No, Bob. Nope. Sorry, Bob. Can't find you. You gave me no directions. And Google has no idea where Hickory Point Road is. And um, I have no car sig or no uh, signal. There's no phones in this town. You can't get a cell signal. So there's no way for me to call Bob. Parkside Cafe. Are you open? Nope. It says it has Wi-Fi, but it's not open. All righty, guys. Well, we're lost in nowhere. I have no signal on my phone. I have no. Who I have, are you talking to? Oh, who am I talking? I'm talking to my YouTube family. <laughs> I let them know we're lost and we're not going to find this guy today. I'm sure. You'll find him if you go down Casey's and ask. I will ask, but they won't know either. You need me to open that for you. Sure. <laughs> then you get done talking. Okay. And no, I didn't put in the wrong address. Everybody's going to say that. You put the wrong address in. No, oh. I didn't. We did not put the wrong address in. No. You going to do Scratcher? Mom thinks we're having luck today. We're going to do no, a Scratcher. we're not having any luck. <laughs> we could drive and find the thing. Let's go. So I found a man in Casey's who knew who Bob was, and he drew me this map, and it comes up, and it goes left, and it hangs a right, and then it hangs a left, and he said there's a wooden bridge, and all I have to do is go over that about two miles, and that is nothing like what Google says <laughs> at all. It does not, absolutely. Google had me going uh, in circles. As you can see, we've been here. And it has me going in another circle and taking me right back to that lady's house. So, crazy. Not over here. Huzzah! Say huzzah. Huzzah! We found Bob. Huzzah! <laughs>
<laughs> and he has a beautiful farm. I don't know if you can see it out here. And we got the eggs dropped off. 13 Beltsville White miniature turkey eggs, not one broke, all wrapped in baby diapers. <laughs> Who'd have thought a baby diaper would keep an egg safe? It really did. They were preemie diapers. Preemie diapers, too, yeah. I, that's like, they're worth a lot of money, so <laughs> I kept them. All righty, and now we're going to try to find our way back the way the guy at Casey's showed us so that we can memorize and we can come back in case those long crower eggs come in. But I don't know. I'm thinking they're lost in translation somewhere. All right. This is such a beautiful field. I just wanted to show it to you all on this gorgeous spring day. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and quit beeping, car. It won't quit, you don't it won't quit beeping. I got to put my seatbelt on. Okay, okay. Here we go. We're heading back out. And we're going to go out the way we came in, down the gravel road. Yep. I thought this was kind of interesting up here. All these trees got uprooted probably in a storm. Did you notice that when we were coming yeah, in? Yeah, I just I did was someone just cleared that field off or just one it was clearing that area maybe to build on it or something. I, I don't know. know. I don't know. They've been Are there we a having while, any though. luck. I have just started. <laughs> and now the rest of the story. If it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. We know this. This is the theme of my whole channel half the time. I had a psychologist one time tell me, he said, man, you have the worst luck of anybody in the world. And I was like, yep, been this way my whole life. So, after we finally got the turkey eggs all the way over to this other town to this little guy who's going to hatch them professionally for me, I came home, opened my mailbox, and there was a thing that said, First attempt, hold for pickup. What? So luckily the post office was open. Those rare times when our post office is open. So I drove as hard and fast as I could. And we're exhausted. Mom and I went shopping, you know. I mean, got some groceries. And I'm like, I'm going to have another tachycardia. <laughs> All this walking and exercise. And uh, I uh, took that back down to the mail. And guess what? You guessed it. The Kosovo or San Jack long crower eggs came in today. Had they come in yesterday or this morning, we could have taken them to the guy. But no, they're here now after I get home. There they are. And it says hold for pickup. It has taken these babies how many days? I think it's over a week to get here. I don't have much hope for these being alive. But I'm going to open them and we're going to have a look. Do you know all 13 of the turkey eggs were intact? All of them. Isn't that incredible? Now I have nobody to hold the camera for me and I need both hands. So I'm going to sit it over here to the side. It's not going to be the greatest shot. But we get to see if any of them are broke. As Absolutely shocked. This one has a this hands up. Absolutely shocked that all 13 of the Beltsville white turkey eggs were intact. And it says, Holy Lee, so you had my wrong phone number. That's my old phone number. Did you used to know me or something? Maybe I need to go in and update some stuff on, on my eBay. I thought I had. I thought I had given in my new phone number. So, they seem well wrapped on the outside. I talked with this guy uh, through via texting, and he seemed like a really great guy. Oh, yes. They're packed in foam. I have high hopes. Foam usually means safety. And that is yes. Okay. It says tea and tea. I'm not tea. I need to put a little packing out of here. We're going to have to give these guys a rest and then try to drive back to Green Ridge tomorrow because my little man's going to work tonight. So uh, he will not be there. And. These are so beautifully packed. I hate to unpack them, but I kept the little guy waiting for me while we unpacked all the turkey eggs, so I, I feel like I should do this before I get there. Um, and, whoa, this is a beautiful job, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Here is six right here. 
and they look perfect. I'm not going to pull them out all the way. They're, they're looking so good. I'm going to leave them like that. And then I think we have a couple of extras right here. Oh my, yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you so much. They're beautiful. I wish the USPS had been faster. And we're going to let these rest, and I'm getting them back to Bob first thing tomorrow. Well, there you go. You know, that's the first time I've unpacked eggs I've bought on eBay, and nothing's been broke. That's pretty incredible. So, uh, an end to a long day. I, I have to go take care of my chickens now, let the girls out, feed them, water them. We weren't expecting to be lost for two hours because of Google. <laughs> so... I have to push it just a little bit longer. I know I feel like the side of my neck is swollen in here. Uh, I feel like my heart's beating a little too hard, but, you know, no time, no rest for the wicked. I have got to keep working. I've got to get these chickens taken care of, and um, if I drop dead doing it, well, it was my time. Talk to you all later. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. <laughs>